Hey guys, welcome back to Bushfields. This is Jeremy. Uh, this is a video I wanted to do for a long time. Uh, I do diesel mechanics primarily for my job. I am. I do diesel me mechanics primarily for my job, so I've always ran steel toe work boots. I know a lot of people uh, have different opinions on steel toe boots, so I wanted to give you guys my two cents. I only run Red Wing now for the past three years. Yeah, probably about three years now, three and a half years I've been running Red Wings. Been super happy with Red Wing, haven't had too many issues. Uh, I have two reconstructive surgeries on my left foot, so certain boots I just can't wear. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I used, what I, what I tried, what I used to run. I ran, I had good luck with Timberland, they didn't hold up as well in my opinion. I had a pair of Timberlands before the boots on the right, which are a pair of Walmart boots that I used for about a week and I said no more. Um, so like I said, my, my Timberlands lasted about a year. They weren't bad boots in my opinion, but let's start off with, these are what typically people are going to go to. They're just a, um, a Walmart steel toe cheap work boot. I believe they're like 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks. I'll be honest with you. They're uh, Brahma brand boots. They they have a decent tread pattern on them. They you know they got a decent tread on them. They're non-slip, but I don't know about other people. I can't wear boots that aren't comfortable. The material and all this stuff is just a real stiff boot. And granted, I only ran these for about a week or two, and I just couldn't do it. Um, it could, they could be just cheaper material or I didn't break them in enough. But every pair of Red Wing boots, I haven't had to break in. They were comfortable the day I put them on to the day I put them off. And I wear my boots seven days a week. People that know me well know that you'll see me and I'll be wearing work boots. It's just what I wear. Rare, very rarely I'll be in, you know, dress shoes or tennis shoes. But nine times out of ten, if you see me, I'm in work boots. I, my father-in-law got mad at me I tried going golfing in work work boots apparently you can't do that so but like I said these are about $25 boots it was uh, when we we're getting married I was trying to save a little bit of money just couldn't do it they just weren't comfortable now what I did ran these are a pair of Red Wing Irish Settler boots they're steel toe regular steel toe work boots in a cowboy boot style uh, work boot and I did do the toe protector because I was doing a lot of tires but I mean you can see these boots have been through the ringer these boots though are two and a half years old they needed to be changed about two years but we just didn't have the funds to do it so the treads on these my only complaint with these Irish settlers is the treads were not the greatest to start with in the snow these are not not a snow boot in my opinion you'll slip and slide it's not as bad as a regular cowboy boot, but it definitely wasn't what I expected from a work boot. You can see with my foot, the back of these, I wore them clear, clear apart, you know. These boots are long since retired. I keep them in the house just in case I'm doing, you know, grass work or something that doesn't really matter. Uh, but like I said, they do have the cowboy stitching on them. They are waterproof. They were insulated. Uh, these boots used to be light tan, but working in a diesel shop, they aren't light tan anymore. I used to have a spot on there that still was. I mean, after two and a half years, I wore holes in the back of these things. But like I said, I wore these seven days a week. They, the boots been to Florida. They've been everywhere with me. And wife, you know, people are like, why would you bring your boots to Florida? You know, it's just what's comfortable for me. Boots, in my opinion, if they're good, solid boots... They're more comfortable than tennis shoes. I have insoles in my new black boots that I've been running for about six months. I do prefer the pull-on style cowboy boot. I do like the traction better on my new boots. But uh, I ran those for years because, I mean, I had those for two and a half years and I love those boots. I still enjoy those boots. I don't use them anymore, but they were a great boot. The reason people typically will run with the right side, which is the Walmart boot, is it's $25. The cowboy boots, I believe I paid $225 for, and I think it was another $25 to do the tips 
to keep the tips protected on those. So those ended up costing, those were right about $250 boots. So two years, about $100 a year in boots. Not the end of the world, but you know, or $125 a year in boots. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, my work, typically if you work in a diesel shop, they'll cover up to about 120 bucks. So basically I paid 75 bucks a year for two, you know, to get two and a half years out of these boots after what they paid. Um, like I said, the only gripes I had was after a while I wore a hole in the back where you pull the boot on, so it's hard to get the boot off my foot. Uh, with my foot surgery, my left foot does swell. So after a while, with, that was the boot that had the hole in it. So you couldn't get your foot out of the boot and I'd have to actually sit down and take off the boot. Um, other than that, the material held up well, the boots held up well. I mean, two and a half years, seven days a week, you can't beat, beat up on the boots that much. These are what are, sorry, the cowboy boot style is called an Irish Settler. Uh, it's still a red wing boot, but these ones are the actual branded red wings. And put you there. There we go. So these are my new work boots. Uh, my work for, my work says that we're not allowed to have pull-on style work boots, so we need an angle support. So that's what these are. I can't stand going to work and trying to tie a boot every day. I was gonna go with the boa style, with like a cam lock, kind of like a snow boot. They didn't have any in the size I needed. So what I ended up going with, this is just a basic zipper. It zips up and then it pulls it in tight. So about every every month and a half, two months, you end up retying your boots just so they get comfortable again. Like I said, I did get smarter with these. I put insoles from Red Wing in them. I should go to my my foot doctor and get proper insoles. But these definitely have more of an arch than comes with the boot. So it is keeping my foot arched. This is my good foot, so you can see there's not as much pressure. You can still see the Red Wing logo. We go in this one here. taking these out in forever but this one I have a lot more pressure on my heel you can see it took out the Red Wing logo it's starting to wear a little bit of hole in here it's not too bad but like I said it ends up having that arch which helps my foot again these are steel toe work boots they're I went with black just because of the environment I'm in for my second job I'm actually able to wear these I'm a food server and the nice thing is like I said they're just comfy you can tell on these ones the tread patterns a lot better uh, they're not they don't slip as much they still will slip on ice a little bit but with plowing and doing everything else these boots have been great um, like I said do full-time diesel mechanics in them 40 plus hours a week they do have a toe protector that I've been trying out I'm not doing as much tires so that's good there we have the American flag on the laces there. For the pole, they got a little tab. You just pull your foot in, it makes it a little bit easier. Uh, the only thing that, I mean, it's gonna happen, but you can tell I'll lay on the side of my boot when I'm underneath a uh, truck. I'll drag myself here and there, so I got, you know, metal showing through the black covering. I mean, it's not gonna last forever, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, all in all, I think Red Wing boots hold up really well, so I was just, uh, I've been really happy with them. Haven't had any major issues. Both the both my Red Wing boots are waterproof. Uh, after you start running holes in the back of them, they don't become waterproof, obviously. But I've had these ones for six months. These ones ran. I want to say they're about two hundred and fifty bucks, two hundred and twenty bucks. So my company paid 120 of them. So we had, you know, anywhere from 120 to 140 bucks in these boots. 
no major issues with them. They're comfortable boots. I wear them every day, sometimes 14 hours a day. They're, they're a good boot. Hey! They're a good boot, so we haven't had too many issues. I wanted to say thank you for everyone. Uh, we did manage to hit 101 subscribers. So we have 101 subscribers. My goal is to grow the channel all the way up to 1,000 by the end of the year. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to everyone for like, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. I enjoy talking to everyone. If you guys have a preference on a boot, let me know. I was going to go with uh, Redback that I could have got off a Mack truck or a Mako truck. I just, I put them on and they just didn't feel as comfortable as a Red Wing boot to me. So I bit the bullet, bought, bought the boots I liked, bought the boots I've been running. And like I said, I'll go anywhere from doing diesel mechanics, food running, home construction, you know, all sorts of stuff. So my boots see everything. They see water, snow, dust, dirt, you know, a little bit of everything. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Jeremy. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll uh, we'll keep going. Like I said, we'll keep providing these videos. If there's something you wanted to see, if you wanted to see, you know, I plan on doing a 6S video on my toolbox. I plan on cleaning up the garage and doing a garage video. So I just want to say ever thank you to all my subscribers and thank you guys for continuing to watch. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys.